folks, this is all the fruit. And here I have a plant called Xenopodium album or lamb's quarters. Well, here it grows at the edge of a field like a wheat. And yeah, in Europe and North America nowadays it's commonly considered a wheat. I say nowadays because this wasn't always the case. However, in Asia and Africa it is actually an interesting vegetable. Well, especially in India they use the leaves for a lot of curries and other dishes, but also in other parts of Asia and also in Africa. Sometimes they also use it to feed animals. It seems to be superior to other types of um, herbs. And also sometimes they are using the seeds. And since this is a fruit channel, we'll concentrate on the seeds. Well, I said in Europe nowadays it's considered uh, it's considered um, a wheat. However, they are related species, um, not of the genus Xenopodium, but of the genus Ar uh, Atriplex, which are still being used as a um, type of spinach-like veg uh, spinach vegetable for the leaves. And in ancient times, those seeds, you can see the plant is producing a ton of those seeds, here they are not com here the fruit are not completely ripe, so only a few of them release the blackish seeds. I think you can see a couple of black and shiny seeds between the uh, green fruits. Let's see if we can find some slightly more ripe ones. Well, there seem to be only two plants here, and they are not very ripe. Mm, no, I cannot find any other ones. Lots of weeds here, but actually not much of Xenopodium. Well, the seeds. They have been found in European archaeological sites in a lot of different in a lot of different eras like in the Iron Age, in the Roman Age, in the Viking Age in uh, Northern Europe. Well, we are not sure not always sure how f how far they have been really collected as a separate grain or they have ended up with uh, other grains as a wheat but the, the amount of seeds found in archaeological sites throughout Europe is uh, staggering it's even said that once when Napoleon had um, was in trouble with his army they had to rely on Xenopodium seeds for survival and since we are talking about pretty big armies here, um, yeah, the stuff must have been quite useful. Well, there is the related species, uh, Xenopodium quinoa, the quinoa which is still being sold as a grain even in European and North American supermarkets. And yeah, basically the, the whole family of the Xenopodiaceae, they are, well, they are pretty high in oxalic acid, uh, like a lot of other wild vegetables, that can be a problem, but there are not many really toxic plants. I don't know a single toxic plant in this family. And basically you can use most of them in some way for human consumption. And yeah, the seeds are pretty high in protein, uh, potassium, phosphorus and stuff like that, vitamin A. So quite a can be quite a valuable crop and those are not absolutely ripe but I think in a week or so if you had some sort of basket you could collect maybe a handful or two of seeds from each of those plants if you have a fellow field with thousands of plants yeah that can make quite a difference in a famine or even in a normal iron age or viking age <coughs> situation where people not uh, did not always have too much to eat well let's try the They're crunchy in the same way as quinoa is crunchy, but there is a bitterness about them. Oops, I tried to blow the green parts away, but they are just as heavy as the black seeds, so yeah, those are bitter. Now, yeah, and with a, and with a flavor which reminds me of quinoa, and also 
of the related beetroot. Beetroot is also from the same family, yeah. And the flavor it might be of quinoa, but even more of beetroot. But it also has a phew, bitterness and the mouth watering astringency. More mouth watering than typical astringent. It's the type of mouth watering that makes you produce a lot of spit just to get rid of it. So, hmm. well, those not so ripe seeds were kind of a disappointment when I tried them raw. I will try to find a plant with slightly more ripe seeds and see if they taste better. Maybe the bitterness is just in the green husk and not in the black seeds. That would be a good thing because if I could separate the tasty black seed from the bitter husk, <coughs> it could change a lot. Maybe you also have to boil or roast it first. I've also never eaten raw quinoa. I've basically always boiled it first. So folks, this was the first attempt at harvesting some nice edible fruit from lamb's quarters or Chenopodium album or wild spinach. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg. And don't forget to like, share, comment <coughs> and subscribe.